ever go to a potluck or a place, a gathering of friends and family, and you're forced to, what is it, bring a dish and hopefully everybody likes it and you make a bean dip, but nobody eats it? That hurts. <laughs> Food and life, such a beautiful thing. Don't you think? You guys are enjoying this content. Don't forget to like this content here. Also, click on the bell. Come on, be a part of the notification. <laughs> I'm here to help you guys make the best, the most easiest finger food potluck. Is it called potluck? Potluck or a friend and fa family gathering where they force you to bring something? The easiest recipe ever, guys. This will ring out. Ah, this will wing out. Ah, wing. <laughs> Win the crowd over. I promise you. Your dish will be eaten first. I promise, okay? Your dish will be eaten first. Just follow these recipes. Just follow these recipes. Just follow this recipe, all right? Step by step. Don't blame. Spare ribs cut in half. So if you guys can't get your spare ribs cut in half, just chop it down, okay? So it's pretty much your spare ribs cut in half. So do you know that piece? Do you know sometimes at Costco you get like a rib piece, but then in the back of it you get this weird piece that you guys don't even know what to do with it? Cut it up, guys. Cut it up into nice, beautiful chunks like this. And all we're gonna do, guys, chop it down. So I'm just gonna fall the bone and chop it down, okay? Nice, simple, easy. Or just ask your butcher to half a spare rib. Or pretty much here in Canada, Costco, they have it nice and um, chopped up already. Guys, these shears, guys, legit. Best shears ever. So if you guys want one, holla at Will Singh, guys. I'll leave his link or his Instagram at the bottom. Just holla at him, all right? Legit. Cuts through everything, guys. Okay, we're just gonna chop it down. Follow the bone, chop it down. Follow the bone, chop it down. Well, not really following the bone. Chop it down in between, okay? Oh yeah, we're making honey garlic ribs. <laughs> Forgot to tell you. <laughs> I goofed it there, guys. But legit, you bring this to any party. Well, Thanksgiving in America is coming, so make this for your Thanksgiving or Christmas coming up, okay? Just chop it up, guys. Nice bite side pieces. And like I said, I guarantee you, and I promise you, your dish will beat anybody else's dish at the potluck. You know, I never went to a potluck until my friend invited me to a potluck and I had to figure out what it was or had to Google what it was. And I came in with this, guys. I came blaring with this. Something simple and easy, right? This. It's beautiful. Everybody gets a piece. Nobody's left out. Let's go. A tablespoon and a half of seasoning salt. I got half a tablespoon ginger powder, half tablespoon white pepper, half tablespoon black pepper. Oop, not too much. Lastly, we got some garlic powder. Let's go. Tablespoon, or not tablespoon, half tablespoon. Get into it, guys. Mix this in. Very well. Two cracked eggs. Mix this in. Let it coat all that egg there. I'll say this, you don't want it too eggy, right? You just want a nice coat of egg on it. Lastly, Two cups of cornstarch. Don't breathe this stuff in, guys. Go that way. Hey, mix this in. Mix this in very well. Nothing to it, guys. We're gonna let this sit for about eight to ten minutes. Okay. Best honey garlic sauce you guys have ever made. Two tablespoons of butter going in. We got two tablespoons of garlic here. Once you get it going, one teaspoon of white pepper, one teaspoon of black pepper. We got half a tablespoon of ginger powder and a half a tablespoon of garlic powder.
Okay, once it smells nice, we got four tablespoons of brown sugar. Half a cup of honey. Throw in half a cup of soy sauce. Now I'll say a third cup of soy sauce. I got two tablespoons of cornstarch and three tablespoons of water here going in and we're just gonna let this thicken up. Thicken up nicely. Once it thickens up nice like this, it's ready. Take it off the heat. Here it is guys, canola oil heating at a max heat. I got a lot of oil here, so max heat for about 20 minutes. After 20 minutes, I'm gonna drop these little kitties into the pool guys. I don't care if they can swim. They just have to get it. Cooking time for this. Make sure your oil is hot, guys, before you dump this in. It won't work if your oil ain't hot. Good time for this. 18 to 13 minutes, guys. I don't care if it's wet. They just have to get it. I don't care if it's wet. They just have to get it. I don't care if it's wet. They just gotta get it. I don't care if it's wet. They just have to get it. Don't overcrowd it too, guys. If you guys overcrowd it, you guys are gonna mess up on the crust, okay? Just because I have a big pot, guys, I'm just gonna do maybe half of it. Here we go. Everybody out of the pool. Shake off any excess fat. Go to the side. That's a work of art, guys, right there. Oh, man. That legit is art. Nice and drained. Into this beautiful bowl here. We got our thick, beautiful, honey, peppery sauce on top. Golden nuts. Make sure everybody gets a nice cold. Everybody got a nice coat. Throw into your tin foil. That's ready, guys. Time to take this to our party. Actually, there's no party, guys. <laughs> Just the party at my house, okay? Oh! There it is, guys. The most perfect. What is that thing called again? When people invite you over and they force you to make food for them. <laughs> What is that? Um, oh, everybody brings food. Everybody brings a piece. What is that thing called again? I'll oh, figure it out, guys. Okay. Come through. No, you know what? I'll come through. I'll bring this over, guys. I'll bring this over for you guys. It's just beautiful. Look at this. It's glistening and it's speaking to everybody. This will be eaten first, okay? This will be done first when you bring this to a party. Bring this to your next potluck and watch this disappear like magic guys. Okay, let's get into this. So, let's just say we're at a party right now. Everybody's like, ooh, what is this? <laughs> and you're just like sitting in the back. You're like, oh, I made that. It's uh, just uh, honey pepper ribs, guys. Try it. It's very good, you know? <laughs> guys, I'm going to this quick time. You just got it. Nice. Get in on this. Wait, 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 wait. All right, it's a finger food, but people are probably gonna be at the party using forks with this, but soup pump for this. Huh. This right here. Mm -hmm. 
It's the most beautiful thing people will ever try at the party. Mmm. The best part of biting into one of this. Mmm. Is the fat pockets. Mmm. Make it and try it. Then you know what I'm saying. The fat pocket. So it's pretty much just a little layer of fat. And when you fry it, it melts. But that crust there holds it into place. Then when you bite into it, mm, it just bursts in your mouth with happiness, guys. You can eat this with rice to control the ugliness or the sweetness, or it's not that sweet, I think it's perfect, guys. Right, this quick time, just to balance your life. You can see that, nice, super pop this. But it's just perfect. It's a perfect amount of everything, I promise you. I promise you. Yeah. If you follow this step by step, you will reap the reward. Why is it not focusing that it is? You will reap the reward. Soup pumpkins. Once everybody left, wow, this is so good, guys. I'll play it off cool, guys. Just play it off cool. That's right. It was nothing. <laughs> Even better. If people hate on it, guys, when people hate on it, like, for sure it's store bought, for sure it's this and that. Just walk to the washroom, guys, okay? Walk to the washroom. Shadow box that off, guys. <laughs> that legit is a compliment, okay? Just shadow box that. Compliment off, all right? You did it. <laughs> you did it. <laughs> what is not to like about this? If you guys don't like that much pepper, don't put that much pepper. But what I put in, it's just a perfect amount of everything. In the beginning, I thought I put a little too much black pepper. But in the end of it, I'm so happy with it. Best finger food. You guys will ever make at home. Make it this Thanksgiving. Make it for Christmas for your family. Just make it and watch them smile. They're gonna enjoy it. Mm -hmm. Maybe I'll do this this week. Food to bring over to your friends and family. Mm. I'll probably do that. That's it, guys. Hope you guys enjoy this one. Don't forget to subscribe if you haven't. Also, don't forget to pick up on your pop shirts. I don't trust your shirt. I like to share this. Peace out.